Welcome to the series of Friday Sermon Discussions brought to you by Majlis Kulam Lamdiya UK Tarbiyat Department on the Blessed Friday Sermons delivered by Hazrat Amir al-Mu'mineen Aidat al Aziz. I'm delighted to be joined by respected missionary Murabi Salaam with the Birdeen Sahib. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu to you Madhavi Sahib. Wa alaikum salam. Over to you for this summary of the most recent Friday Sermon. So, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So, Hazur continued the series of the companions and um, specifically continued with the life of Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq. Um, he began with the um, one of the first tasks that the Holy Prophet وسلم, conducted after moving to or migrating to Medina which was the establishing establishment of the mosque Masjid al-Nabi. And uh, Hazul mentioned that um, the Holy Prophet uh, وسلم, selected a piece of land and um, it was Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq that actually paid or purchased that land from his own wealth, which was about 10, 10 dinars, a big amount during that time. Um, another incident, for this uh, for the establishment of the mosque was the foundation laying and um, the holy prophet وسلم, laid the first foundation stone and then instructed Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq to lay the next stone next to his and then Hazrat Umar was instructed to lay the stone next to Hazrat Abu Bakr and Hazrat Usman and so forth then um, we have another incident we have the battle of uh, Badr um, which was, of course, the whole series is based around those companions. So during the consultation of Battle of Badr, um, um, when the Holy Prophet was considering whether to go meet the caravan, um, you see, after receiving divine revelation, uh, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq stood up and he was one of the first that, um, that promised the Holy Prophet that no matter what, we will be ready to lay down our lives for Islam and protect you uh, from uh, from the enemy. Um, <clears throat> once Hazrat Ali, uh, another incident that was mentioned that was very amazing was um, that once Hazrat Ali Razila Talan, who was having a discussion with the companions, and um, and he asked these companions, "Who do you think is the bravest companion?" And um, a few people said a few names but Hazrat Ali said no Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq is the, the bravest companion and um, even though he was one of the older ones or what m people might seem as weak um, but he was he, he narrated has that he narrated the incident that it was during the battle of Badr um, uh, we would, they, they were discussing who would protect the Holy Prophet and uh, it was Hazrat Abu Bakr Sadiq said, I will protect him. He stood in the tent with the Holy Prophet وسلم, while the Holy Prophet prayed and the, the, the battle was going on. Um, and um, he stood there with his sword to say that if anyone wanted to harm the Holy Prophet, they would have to pass me first. Um, and there's a, uh, Hazrat narrated a few other incidents of um, of the Battle of Badr, and then came the Battle of Uhud. For example, the, one of the main incidents was the prisoners of war. Um, uh, what to do with the prisoners of war? Um, Hazrat Umar, what would happen in the, before Islam was that um, the, these prisoners of war would be executed. But Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, being of much softer nature, he said that, he suggested that um, instead of executing these prisoners, there's a possibility that some of these prisoners might turn to Islam at a later stage. So we should ask for um, uh, a figure, a fee, and a freedom. Obviously, we know that also one of, those, one of the methods of them being freed was that they could teach um, other Muslims, educate them, but um, 
the separate matter, but it has oh, the main point is that Hazrat Abu Bakr was of the nature that the, these these people should be freed, and the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam agreed with this rather than to execute them. Um, another incident of Battle of Ahud um, was, of course, we know that there came a time when the Muslims were overwhelmed. And um, the Holy Prophet وسلم, was surrounded by only a handful of companions. And uh, one of those companions, of course, was Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq. Of course, there also was, uh, we know, the famous incident of Hazrat Talha Taranho, who protected the Holy Prophet with his hand. And his hand was severely damaged due to the, the, the rain of arrows. So another very important incident that um, Hazur mentioned uh, was after, at the end of the Battle of Uhud, <clears throat> it shows the love the Holy Prophet had for, for Allah. And um, the incident was such that um, after the Muslims had been overwhelmed and they were taking cover in, in the mountains, um, the, the enemy approached and they shouted, you know, we have killed Muhammad. Uh, and we have killed Hazrat Abu Bakr and we have killed Umar, um, God forbid. And uh, on all three, on all these occasions, the Holy Prophet had um, had uh, signaled to his companions to keep quiet, don't mention anything, stay quiet. Then the enemy mentioned, you know, uh, praise Hubur, and they were they were praising their their idols. And that is when the Holy Prophet وسلم, looked at his companions and said, "Why do you not reply?" And, uh, you know, you should state that um, now you should state that God is one and the only one uh, and the only one worthy of worship. Because that is when the, it, the, the, the surge of love of the Holy Prophet وسلم, was awakened and um, uh, he, he could not bear that uh, any partners were associated with Allah. So that just that incident, of course out of many shows um, the love that the Prophet وسلم, had for, for Allah and his unity. Jazakallah, Madhabir Sahib. It's such a, um, so many aspects to go out with Hazul's Friday sermon, especially this one where there were so many incidents mentioned. Uh, I'm just going to revert back to the series as a whole. And as you said, it actually started a few years ago now when Hazur started on the companions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that participated in the Battle of Badr. And then since then, it's been focusing on the four Khalifa of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to, up to this most recent Friday sermon with the continuation of Hazrat Abu Bakr. If I now relate you back to a Khadim living in the UK who is being told about these stories of somewhat 1400 years ago in Central Arabia, how would you relate the stories that we're hearing to someone living in this day and age? I believe um, there's so many aspects that um, that normal Khuddam can just uh, take any Khadim, in fact, every Ahmadi can take from these uh, from these stories. And that is one of the main reasons that um, Hazur is um, delivering these sermons. Um, I mean, there's apart from the various summaries and various um, uh, other items and articles that are published on Hazul's sermons, and of course, listening to the sermon itself, you can take so much from it. For example, just, just this incident, yeah? Um, the incident of the Battle of Badr. So what happened, which this incident, it just it leaves you, you can't understand it especially in this day and age. Um, so what happened, the, the Hazrat Abu Bakr, his son, had, uh, after accepting Islam, he narrated that he was talking to his father. He said, you know, father, during the Battle of Badr, when I was not a Muslim at that time, I saw you, um, I was hiding behind a rock, and I saw you, you were with the Holy Prophet, وسلم, and you were battling the enemy, and I had this occasion, I had this moment, where I could have attacked you and I could have really hurt you. But I held myself back because you are my father. Now, um, <laughs> any father would be like, oh, that's so nice of you. But the Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, his reply just, it just leaves you amazed. He said to him, 
if it was me in your place and you came and um uh, and uh, you became a threat for the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam i would have attacked you no questions asked so just these kinds of incidents he said to him the only reason you were saved from me is because you were god was going to gift you and you were blessed with the acceptance of islam that was the only reason you were saved but these kinds of incidents show us the loyalty and the faith we need to have for our own religion so our own faith how much precedence he gave as Abu Bakr Siddiq gave precedence to his faith over forget worldly matters over his own blood over his own son he was ready to kill his own son for his faith that shows the loyalty we need to have with Allah with our religion with Khilafat and um, I think that if we just take that as a lesson out of everything that's a that's a, um, a great achievement a great achievement indeed Jazakallah for um, giving us that uh, amazing summary of this Friday sermon as regular viewers of this show will know we finish with an extract of the Friday sermon itself delivered by Hazrat Amir al Mominin. So let's watch that now. The Rasulullah ki jang shuru ho gayi. The Rasoolullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam sahay baan se niche se shifla hai aur logon ko kital par ubara. Log apni safon mein Allah ka zikr kar rahe the. Nabi Kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam ne bazaar te khud khub kital kiya aur aapke pehlu wo pehlu Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq kital karte rahe. Hazrat Abu Bakr ki be nazir shajat saamne aayi. आप हर सरकश का काफिर से लड़ने के लिए तैयार थे अगर चाहे आपका बेटा ही क्यों ना हो इस मार्के में आपके बेटे अब्दुल रहमान कुफार की जानिब से लड़ने के लिए आए थे और अरब में सबसे बड़े बहादुरों में से एक समझे जाते थे और कुरैश में तीरंदाजी में सबसे बड़े माहिर थे जब उन्होंने इस्लाम को बुल किया तो अपने वालिद हजरत बकर सेर्ज किया बदर के दिन आप मेरे सामने वाजे निशानों हदफ पर थे لیکن میں آپ سے ہٹ گیا اور آپ کو قتل نہ کیا تو حضرت ابو بکر نے فرمایا اگر تو میرے نشانے پر ہوتا تو میں تجھ سے نہ ہٹتا اس کا ذکر کرتے ہوئے حضرت مسلم عود مرزا عنہ فرماتے ہیں کہ حضرت ابو بکر رضی اللہ عنہ ایک دفعہ رسول کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے ساتھ کھانے میں شریک تھے کہ مختلف امور پر باتیں شروع ہو گئیں حضرت عبد الرحمن جو حضرت ابو بکر رضی اللہ عنہ کے بڑے بیٹے تھے اور جو بعد میں مسلمان ہوئے بدر یا عہد کی جنگ میں کفار کی طرف سے لڑائی میں شریک ہوئے انہوں نے کھانا کھاتے ہوئے باتوں باتوں میں کہا کہ ابا جان اس جنگ میں فلاں جگہ سے آپ گزرے تھے تو اس وقت میں ایک پتھر کے پیچھے چھپا بیٹھا تھا اور میں اگر چاہتا تو حملہ کر کے آپ کو ہلاک کر سکتا تھا مگر میں نے کہا اپنے باپ کو کیا مارنا ہے حضرت ابو بکر نے جواب دیا خدا نے تجھے ایمان نصیب کرنا تھا اس لیے تو بچ گیا ورنہ خدا کی قسم اگر میں تجھے دیکھ لیتا تو ضرور مار ڈالتا